Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here with part two with the EE Smart Hub router. Now installing and setting up the new box before I can do this, the old router that I'm replacing. As you can see, it's had a hard life. There's the four cables that I've connected at the back. That was a previous project, but now it's getting replaced. You're not changing the box, are you? Uh, yeah, uh, Velvet. We're uh, changing it because um, it needs replacing. Oh, but I don't like change. Well, you know, you have to get used to it. Oh, okay. But if I don't like it, you're going to put the old one back. Okay, so before I switch over the box, I want to test the internet speed of what I'm currently getting and then later compare it. But I won't be doing it in this actual video. It'll be the next one as I need the speed to stabilize between the router and the outside exchange. So that went momentarily. So it looks like I'm getting about 74 megabytes per second. And my upload... is 18 and a half megabit okay cool that seems acceptable so i'm going to pull the new router out of the packaging and do the connection with the cables starting off with the adsl cable followed by the power cable and any ethernet cables that i need to connect i have four on the previous box so there'd be four on this one Giving the new router its feet, so that connects, clips in very nicely. And now, put me in the Ethernet cable, followed by the ADSL. Have to assemble the plug, just like the BT box and connecting it into the jack. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on from the back. And now the light flashing, and when it goes to a solid green, means that is working. <laughs> cool. As you can see, Velvet is in the um, background there, next to it, putting her bed together. This can normally take about five minutes to establish a connection between the exchange and the router. Obviously, it's got to send a signal back and forth in order to establish the connection. So once it's done that, it then will become a solid green. See right there, it's flashing right now. It may also have to do a firmware update as the software on board the router might be out of date so it will update whilst it does the initial installation so it should be any moment now oh there we go there's the solid green so the router has now been fully set up and now i will be able to go into the wi-fi settings and change them to my own personal preferences great success Hey, Velvet. What do you want? Uh, okay, I'll let you stroke me this one time. I've now relocated the Smart Hub router to where the old router used to be. So it's all well and good. And I think uh, Velvet uh, likes it now. Don't you? Uh... Whatever. She likes it. So I'm now going to log into the new EE Smart Hub's main page so I can change the settings. Of course, I've got to use the original SSID in order to access the settings. So I'm going to change the Wi Fi SSID to Cat Wi Fi. It was my choice. It, Velvet had nothing to do with the decision. 
Yes, keep telling yourself that. Yeah, I've noticed Velvet's voice keeps changing. It's like she can't keep an eye on it. Okay, come on. So I go to fire status. I then change settings. I then put in the code. So, see there, I'm putting in cat Wi-Fi. Yes, good boy. Okay, Velvet. This part I can't show you because it's my Wi-Fi password, man. So I'm just going to refresh my Wi-Fi list. And there it is, cat Wi-Fi, all complete. It's all working now. And as you can see, still a solid green. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you out there.